Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And, um, well, um, so I am making this video because apparently, um, WWE is in negotiations with EA, Electronic Arts. And, uh, Normally, I wouldn't give a damn what WWE does with their gaming decisions on companies or whatnot, except for EA. Um, so, as we all know, EA sucks at making football games. Um, well, they used to be good, like back in the PlayStation 2 era, but then uh, they just decided to take everything away for the PlayStation 3 uh, era, and it's been sucky ever since. Um, so, as we guys know, EA has had a history of being god-awful. They take things away from games, and then games just, franchises just run to the ground. Um, EA has basically had the football NFL license for several years. Um, you know, um, and you know, with, uh, other football spring leagues coming out, they're probably not going to get exclusive things with that since the XFL is now partnering up with the NFL. So that might take away those potentialities. But uh, nonetheless, um, so basically, as you guys know, and if you guys are not aware, WWE, back in 2012, was it released? Uh, in 2012, uh, THQ was shortly after the launch of the uh, WWE, I think, 13 where they, uh, CM Punk was on the cover, and, um, they filed for bankruptcy, 2K picked it up a month later, and, uh, 2K has had the wrestling WWE license, uh, ever since, um, now, during that run, up until the, uh, I think it was in 2019 um, when the game was released. Uh, 2K20 came out. Um, and as we all know, that was the probably right up there as one of the worst video games in the history of wrestling games, at least for the modern time. I mean, yes, there's been historically bad wrestling games out there. Uh, even for old standard graphics. But um, this by far had to have been the worst video game, at least in the modern times of graphics. Um, and uh, there, it was glitchy, it was buggy. Everyone showed all the, the highlights of it and whatnot. It was, a, it was a terribly organized game. And this was the first game that 2K released following the departure of Yuke's. Now, Yuke's, for anybody who doesn't know, is a Japanese company, a uh, video game uh, developing company, that, uh, and a publishing company too, but they only develop the wrestling games. Um, they uh, developed the wrestling games for THQ, as well as 2K when they took over THQ, um, since 19... Or actually, no, I'm sorry... Uh, since 2000 i think it was because uh, i think in 1999 they didn't they didn't do anything with it yet um because uh i know aki did the first couple of games they did the games for the nintendo 64 um which was another japanese company everybody loves WWF 2000, WrestleMania 2000, and WWF WrestleMania, uh, or not WrestleMania, uh, WWF No Mercy, uh, some of the more iconic wrestling games in WWE's franchise. It's still, uh, WWF No Mercy 
on the N64 is still a game that people play to this day. Um, even as well as WrestleMania 2000, though, uh, WWF No Mercy had a lot more to offer, though WrestleMania 2000 had full entrances. Um, but nonetheless, those are some of the iconic uh, games that were released under the THQ banner. But then, of course, they, when they went to the next gen for the, the PlayStation 1 and then the PlayStation 2, well, to the PlayStation 1 was still the same gen, but they had exclusive games on there. And then, of course, the PlayStation 2 got their own games as well. Um, but as they started moving to the next gen, they started releasing the games on Ukes. Um, and Ukes has been basically publishing the games all the way up until... 2k19 um and then 2k decided to not continue the partnership and then the glitches happened as we all know and the game uh had to be recalled basically i think that's the first time uh ever a game has been recalled uh especially the way that that game was recalled um so 2K20 was basically a recalled game. I, I know, I remember people got a lot of, re, there were a lot of people that got refunds for that game because of how bad it was. Um, and that led to a rebranding, uh, which basically spent over a year um, of them developing a new game, a new wrestling engine, um, and... Uh, you know, since they were trying to use the Uke engine, but also at the same time, they didn't have the developing for it, so it glitched and did not work. Um, and so, they developed a new engine, and they just released it. Um, so, they finally got the new game out. There's about, like, 25 wrestlers, I guess, that are on the roster that have since been released from WWE, um, except Daniel Bryan, uh, who's currently in AEW. So <laughs> they made sure that Daniel Bryan wasn't in the game, but all the other people, <laughs> all the other people that have been, like, that they let go, not like, like, you know, Daniel Bryan's contract ended. And he signed with AEW. But everybody else, you know, that's still in this game were, like, fired or released. Including Braun Strowman, who was fired, like, over a year ago. Like, he was fired back in last April. And Braun Strowman's in the game. Which I think is cool, because I like Braun Strowman. I think he shouldn't have gotten fired. But, um, you know... <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny that they kept so many people in that game that aren't even on the roster for like nine months at least or more um so the roster is outdated uh and because the roster is outdated um i guess vince mcmahon and wwe are not happy with 2k because of this even though it was wwe's decision to fire all these people <laughs> um and this game had been developed for over a year. The game was originally supposed to be released like in November. And they delayed it until now to make sure that the game was right. They delayed it by four months. So the game could basically, you know, just to make sure everything was right with the game. So the game wouldn't be buggy or anything like that. Um, you know, make sure everything right. Which I, I respect that they, they took as much time as they could to get it right. Uh, and I know there's going to be some people that are not going to be happy with it. I know they're doing GM mode, which, my God, people have been asking for that mode for years. Like, that that was a that was a beloved feature back in, like, 2000, uh, the 2007 game. I think, no, actually, I think it was in 2008 when that was the first one that was featuring ECW. Um, but I remember that, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 featuring ECW. That game like like had the gm mode and that was the last time they had the gm mode and everybody loved that feature and everybody for a decade have been asking for that to come back and 2k finally 
uh, brought it back in this game. Um, there are some things that people don't like about it uh, that they wish that they would have kept from the old mode from a decade ago. But um, the fact that they listened and, you know, because, again, that was a mode that people heavily asked for for over a decade. Um, and they brought it back. Um, I know that. Um, but um, now, apparently, but because of the roster, because the roster was outdated by, like, 25 to 30 people that aren't even on the, the roster anymore, WWE apparently is not happy about it, supposedly. Um, and 2K's contract ends at the end of this year, apparently. Uh, and the reports are they're in talks with Electronic Arts, which I know 2K was terrible with this game, or was terrible with the, with the, with the last game. But them going to EA, um... I would accept any other gaming company except EA. All right, I would expect I would accept any uh, freaking gaming company except EA, because EA is dog shit. Because they'll slowly try to make everything. You see, here here's EA's textbook when it comes to sports franchises. Okay, this is what they do. Okay. They'll give you some things for one game, and then when they, then when they got you, then when they got you, they'll slowly take everything away. That's what they did in 2005 when they bought the license, the exclusive license, because 2K blew them out of the water. Okay, they, 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 they added stuff in in 06. 07 and 08 to show people that they were justified in being the sole owners of the NFL gaming license. Okay, right? And then after that, they gutted everything. They slowly started gutting everything. And uh, they started taking things away. And uh, by the PlayStation 3 gen, it was all gone. All of it was gone. The superstar mode, the voiceovers, the radio show. Remember that radio show that they had on the franchise mode? Got rid of that. They got rid of the Terrell Davis voiceover in the superstar mode, uh, which I thought was great. I mean, it, you know, it actually felt real, you know, living into a superstar. And they got rid of that. Made that uninteresting. Um, they got rid of uh, being able to create your own team. I used to create the Dragon Ball Z Z Fighters. That was a real thing. And uh, they got rid of that. Um, I remember this. I remember when they started getting rid of this shit. And I was like, why the hell are they getting rid of this shit? You know, they got rid of the radio and all that stuff. You know, it's like, what the frick? Um, and that's what I think they're going to do with uh, this. And for anybody that thinks, oh, well, EA's never done a wrestling game before. So how do you know for sure? You would actually be false. They have done a wrestling game. They did it for WCW back in the 90s. Now, while WCW Mayhem was actually a pretty okay game uh, in 1999, it was not the greatest game ever. It was definitely the best game WCW's ever done. Um, um, well, actually, no. Actually, no. The Revenge was better. Um, Revenge and... Uh, Revenge and... Uh, WCW versus NWO was better. Um, but that was their best game. That was EA. That was that was uh, WCW's post-THQ uh, uh, game. That was their best game after they lost THQ because they originally had the THQ license and then they left for WWE in 99. Um, so... Um, after that, they had Mayhem, which was good. Mayhem was a good game. Um, but after Mayhem, um, then it was downhill. Because after Mayhem, all uh, uh, WCW had was Backstage Brawl, which was basically just literally in the backstage area. 
wasn't even in the ring. Wasn't even in the ring. That was the that was the that was their bright idea. That was the uh, that was WC or not WC. That was uh that was uh EA's bright idea for a wrestling game was not having the wrestlers wrestle in the ring. And that was an N64 game. It was terrible. It was the it it hardly sold. It hardly sold. Um, and then, of course, five months later, WCW was sold to WWE. Of course, um, as we all know. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the uh, history of Electronic Arts doing WCW games. Um, so yeah, Electronic Arts not so good, not so good. Uh, lasting image with that meme of black backstage brawl, and uh, they're gonna um. They gonna have them do the wrestling games now? No, no, no. Everybody needs to like literally, literally. I mean, I know this is WWE, and I know WWE doesn't listen to their fans because they never put the title on Braun Strowman for three freaking goddamn years when he was massively over, getting cheered all the time. And they didn't put the title on him until Roman Reigns decided to back out of his Goldberg match when the COVID pandemic started. Okay. So, I have zero confidence in WWE listening to the fans. Um, because you can't tell me that Braun Strowman wasn't goddamn over. Because he was. For three years, he had the Vince McMahon muscle look. Okay, that Vince looks for. In a wrestler, he had the height. He had everything that Vince 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 McMahon envisions in a goddamn wrestler: muscles, height, <laughs> and he was over. And then they didn't put the title on him. They just kept they just kept freaking jacking off to Roman Reigns every year. Um, you know, um, so zero confidence in WWE listening, but. I do want people to hopefully spread awareness and maybe something can happen and maybe they can go to someone else because that's, or at least I don't know if they'll resign with 2k, but, um, but it can't be EA. It cannot be EA. EA will be the death nail in a wrestling game. It will be. I think AEW's game, whenever AEW's game, and I'm not, and before someone gets on me and says, oh, you're biased towards AEW, no, I'm not. I watch both WWE and AEW, so don't give me that bullshit. If AEW does something stupid, I'm going to call them out on it just like I do with WWE. So don't give me that bull crap. I'm not biased towards one company over the other. AEW does better things than WWE in terms of booking, uh, at least right now. I mean, I don't think AEW is the be-all, end-all when it comes to booking, but um, especially what they did with the Dean Ambrose and the Daniel Bryan match, I thought that should have either ended in a draw or Bryan should have won because it made, makes no goddamn sense from where they're going for the story for Ambrose to win that match. Um, you know, so I'm not saying the booking is the greatest because uh, they've made some uh, questionable decisions, I think, as well. Um, but, um, nonetheless, I do think AEW will do better in video game sales with, uh, the, with, um, with where they're going from what I've seen from it. I, and I don't know what all their features are, but I think because AEW has youth and the Ukes, they're publishing the game and they're developing the game and Ukes actually has an actual track record of games being great keep in mind wwe games always came out by ukes and after ukes left 2k's game crashed and burned okay so that's why i have a lot more confidence in AEW's video game being successful because they have someone who's worked with wwe for since 2000 they've developed wrestling games since 2000 so yes i do think AEW has the edge in the video game department um because they have a company with experience um 
that can do it. Um, so yeah, they have the engine, they have everything that all these wrestlers that 2K needs. 2K had to d develop for two years to get it right. Okay, um, and I have zero confidence in EA because EA again, what they do with their games are horrible. They're horseshit. They're horse manure. Um, and so I have zero confidence in it. And I really hope that people really spread this. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is what it's being reported on the dirt sheet. And while the dirt sheets can be wrong a lot, there can also be a possibility that this is accurate. Um, and if any the slimmest chance that this is true, I really strongly... Hope the wrestling fans band together and really, really, especially if you're also a football fan. Because if you're a football fan and a wrestling fan, then you know what 2K is all about. You or you know what EA is all about. You know what EA Sports is all about. They ruined the Madden brand, okay? You know what they're about, okay? So, this is something to really, really... Let people know. It really needs to get out there, guys. you got to really, really crank that out. And hopefully, something can come of it. Because I really do not want EA getting it. Because if you think it was bad with what 2K did in the, uh, the, the 2K20 game, you, you, have, you have no idea... How bad it's going to be with EA. You have no... If you thought those glitches were bad... Oh boy. You have no idea. If you're just a wrestling fan and you're not a football fan... You have no idea... How bad... How bad EA is. You have no idea. Oh boy. Um, that's about it guys. I'm out. Comment, rate. If you like to film my videos, please subscribe. And that's about it, guys. I'm the SSL from Goku. I'm out of here. Peace.